Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up an image hosting web server using ShareX. Now, when you use ShareX and you post a link to an image, by default, it will probably be something like Imga. But this video is going to show you how you can change the link to your very own domain. So let's just get right into it. So first of all, there's three things you're going to need. You're going to need a domain. You're going to need a dedicated server. We recommend CentOS for this, although you can use something like Rocky Linux as well. And of course, you're going to need ShareX. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to SSH into our dedicated server. So for this, I'm going to be using something called Putty. And this is going to let me SSH into the server. So here for the host name, this is going to be your dedicated server's IP. And this would have been sent in your login credentials email. So once you've pasted that in, keep the port at 22 and then just click open. Then it's going to ask us to log in. We're going to log in as root and then for the password, this is the password you got in your login credential email. So then to paste the password, we're simply going to right click. Now you won't be able to see the password when it's pasted. And this is just for security. So once you've pasted in your password, simply press enter. And if you get this, then it means you've just logged in. Now that we've SSH'd into our dedicated server, we're going to need to run a few commands. Now I'm going to leave these all in the description as there is quite a few. All right, so the first set of commands you're going to be pasting are ones like this. Now the ones with yum at the start, these are for installing dependencies that allow the web server to run. So once you type in or paste the command, simply just press enter and then it will run. And then you're going to paste the next one, the next one, and then so on. Next, you'll get to commands that look like this with systemctl at the start. There'll also be one starting with firewall as well. Now these are for setting up nginx and firewall D. So then the next stage of commands, this is for configuring nginx. So we'll paste in the first one, but the second command is a bit different. As you can see here, it says image.example.com. But instead, we want it to be image dot and then your domain. So for me, that's image.strangedan.uk. You're going to keep .conf at the end and then just press enter. And this will open a different GUI. We're then going to paste the large amount of text and then also the server name and root. We're going to change image.example.com to, of course, image dot and then your domain. So once you've done that, we're going to press control X and then press Y. And then you can just press enter. And then you're finally going to run the reload command for nginx. And there we go. So now we can start configuring ShareX. Then from here, we're going to go to destinations and then destination settings. Then we're going to go down to file uploaders, FTP, FTPS and SFTP. Then we're going to click add next to accounts. And then of course, you're going to name your account. We're then going to select SFTP. We're going to change the port to 22. The host is going to be your server's IP. The username is going to be root. The password is going to be a dedicated server's password. For the remote directory, it's going to be slash var slash www slash and then img dot and then your domain. So my wish is strange stand dot uk. And then below the URL path is going to be image dot and then your URL. And then we'll put a slash at the end. We're then going to turn off append remote directory to URL path. And this is going to make your URL look a lot cleaner. As you can see, the URL preview is currently this really long string. If we turn off this, is going to shorten it way down. Now all we have left to do is click test. And as you can see, it says connected. And that means it is all working. However, we're not quite done yet. You're then going to close the destination settings. We're going to go to destinations, then image uploader, and then file uploader. And then we're going to select FTP. And now we've got one little thing left to do. All we have to do is point our domain to our dedicated server. So I'm going to be using Cloudflare for this. So I'm going to go to my domain and then to DNS on the left. And then we're going to click add record. We're going to make an A record. The name is going to be IMG or image. And the IPv4 address is going to be your server's IP. Once we've done that, we're then going to click save. And now if we go ahead and take a screenshot. So then if I go to paste the image, as you can see, it's pasting this link. And if we post. As you can see, it has embedded as well. And this is the screenshot that I took. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next time.